there is a link between the lower and the upper airway uh, inflammation. So when you have an inflammation in the nose, you also see an inflammation in the lung. That has been shown uh, in allergic disease, but it's the same is true for non-allergic disease. So it's not per se an allergic thing. So you, when you have inflammation in the nose, you have inflammation in the lungs as well. This is especially so in nasal polyps, so in chronic sinusitis with nasal polyps, you see that there is a strong link between the inflammation in the nose and the inflammation in the lung. Even in this disease, there is a special phenotype, which is uh, chronic sinusitis with nasal polyps and asthma and aspirin hypersensitivity. And that's a particular kind of patients who have uh, a high burden of disease. We don't know exactly here, again, the pathophysiological mechanism, but we do know that in many types of severe asthma, especially with late onset, there's an overrepresentation of patients with chronic rhinosinusitis. And the interesting point here is that they actually do a lot worse than the patients with asthma alone. So yeah, I would you know, answer to your question there, there's definitely a link exactly how that works on a pathophysiological level, we don't know. Um, there are many theories here. It could be a neural mechanism, could be, could be more like um, uh, through the um, immune system, but we don't know exactly. But definitely, and I think a lot of people do not uh, really recognize that. The pulmonologists don't understand that it's very important to check how the patient is doing in the upper airway, and the ENT physicians have problems with understanding that the lower airway is important and maybe do a spirometry on patients with nasal polyposis, for instance. Very important. 85% of, of patients with asthma have uh, nasal symptoms, but among them, 50% is uh, rhinitis, either non-allergic and allergic, and 36% uh, chronic rhinosinusitis with and without nasal polyps. And this, the amount of chronic rhinosinusitis or the severity of chronic rhinosinusitis or the prevalence of chronic rhinosinusitis increases when severity of asthma is high. For example, in, in severe asthma, the prevalence of chronic rhinosinusitis with nasal polyps can reach almost 80% of this population. That is a, an, a very important link and should be diagnosed and treated together, together and multidisciplinary with pneumologists, allergologists and ENT specialists and together also uh, primary care physicians.